Warm and sunny in eastern Pennsylvania, 50 miles north of Philadelphia in the town of Bethlehem. Right in the heart of the vibrant Lehigh Valley, home to racing icon Mario Andretti, heavyweight legend Larry Holmes, football Hall of Fame great Andre Reed, and one of the finest country clubs in America, Saucon Valley. 60 superb holes spread out over 850 acres. The old course celebrating its 100-year anniversary and hosting its third U.S. Senior Open, eighth USGA Championship. Pure parkland with juicy, rough, fast, sloping greens, 6,997 yards of par of 71, and it is getting rave reviews from the players and the local fans. They love it as well. Here's where we stand. It has been a dominant performance over the last two days from the three-time major champion, the Irishman, Padraig Harrington. Long hitting display. And Rob LeBritz, longtime PGA professional, having the time of his life. And he's five shots back. In the final pairing, though, it will be Gene Sowers, who won the U.S. Senior Open in 2016, out with Padraig Harrington. Ernie Els played better yesterday. Miguel Angel Jimenez, nice rally after an opening 79. He rebounded round two with, how's this? A 64. Jim Furyk is a Pennsylvania native, as is Rocco Mediate. Furyk is the defending champion. First hole, Tung Chai Jai Di. Swinging to the right pretty hard. Yeah. Oh, just enough. He had a nice run yesterday. Yes, Five did. consecutive birdies. A moment ago, Alex Cheka at the second. He's a two time major winner. PGA Tour champions. Let's see if we can get it up over that little rail. Oh, Hello there. what a shot. Flag hunting, Alex Cheka. All right, so we're back here at two. There's only been one birdie made here in this final round. Let's see if Cheka can make it a second. No. Nope. So just 14 birdies throughout this entire championship on this second hole, this long par four. It has played as the toughest hole all week. Tong Chai Jai Di. I don't think we're going to see anybody putting for birdie from short of the hole. They're all going to be from above the hole. That looked awfully good. It's a good swing of the putter right there. It's a beautiful stroke. Now to the 11th. Good look for birdie for Monty here at the par three. Again, one of the holes that has so much tilt from back to front. Yeah. Oh. Peek and said, I don't think so. And this just a moment ago at the fourth, Mark Hensby. Ooh, nice little sawed off finish, flighting the ball down into the breeze. Whoa, about that shot. Okay. From what is sure to be a popular spot, Doug Barron putting down this hill. It's quick, as you can see. Look out. Did you do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are the unexpected gifts. Doug Barron at the fourth. That needs to hang on. Looks like it might catch the right edge. Oh, what a good yeah. bounce that was. It's going to catch the slope, though. Are you up to a five hybrid? Not yet. Yeah. Not yeah. yet. Three, two, three, yeah. and four. So I'm, I'm okay. getting there. Uh-uh. Oh, no. That was not his best stroke. You make birdie there. You begin to sort of squash hope. Stretch that lead to six, but it's a par, and the lead is where it was at the start. Really going to have to have a, a perfect 17 holes to put any type of pressure on Patrick. Ooh. Oh, got that oh. left corner. Okay, it's in now. He was really good with this club with this kind of shot yesterday. Goes up the slope, should go a little right. Oh. That's picking up speed. Yep, got that it. wasn't very good. Yep, got it over the ridge and it just raced on by. You know, could you maintain what got you there? That's exactly right. That's where you have all the feeling. Get away with some of the long oh, shots. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's a big putt. He hadn't lost that feeling yet. No. He's, He's well ready. done. He is ready. Oh, this is former 
PGA Championship winner, Jeff Sluman. This hole location back left at the par three, and this is how you can use the slope. Just gonna keep on trickling. That's what we see a lot here at Saucon Valley, so to about three and a half feet for Slu. Good look for birdie for Jay Haas. Gonna be hard to get that ball pin high on your second shot. So Jay Haas with two early birdies at the tough second and third. Now he got it off the hole. That was never online. After a tee shot like that, you hate to give one away. Well, after 42 straight holes without a bogey, that's now three bogeys in his last six holes. Miguel Angel Jimenez at the eighth. This uh, for birdie to get to three under. Brilliant second shot into the par four, and what a comeback. After shooting, uh, what, eight over par 79 the opening round? But I felt that my ball striking might have a chance to wear some of them down. That was up at the green at three. That was LeBritz for his par. So Rob LeBritz does exactly what we saw Steve Stricker do. Long putt down the hill, missed it left. Anything spinning with any backspin will go in the penalty area. There's no doubt. So it's got to be past the flag with some spin. Easy now. Well done. Get in. Get in. That's the best shot we've seen all day. Uh, a few outrageous things today if he's going to have a crack at it. Yeah, about 36 feet goes left to right up the slope. It's firm enough. Hang on. He's trying. Now, a moment ago at 18, Retief Goosen. Big drive here at the long par four. Just a short iron in, hole location. Back right portion of the green over the little valley. Spin Let's spin. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Ah. Okay. Well done. Yep. So a little pressure on Harrington by Gene Sowers. He closes the gap. And over here at five, this is Stephen Alker. One over on his round. Far today, beautiful shot right there. That's kind of VJ Singh, the 59 year old on the tee. You know, VJ is going to attack that whole location. How about that shot? For the big Fijian. Party putt now, Mark Hensby at the eighth. Hill should move a little right. Well, you know, this has not been Hensby's problem. Through three rounds, he was tied for the lead in most birdies made through three rounds. See if he can hit, take advantage. It's on a good angle, good line. Oh, he got it to stop on that plateau. Beautiful shot. Good opportunity there. Eighth to have won a U.S. Senior Open and a U.S. Open. Short par four, easiest par four on the golf course. Nice birdie putt there. Actually made an eagle two here yesterday when they moved the tees up and the hole was only playing 282 yards. Let's see if somebody can make this putt from behind the hole here. Will it hang in there or is it going to break left? Oh. Next year will be 50 years since he played in his first PGA Tour event in Greensboro, along with Arnold Palmer and the great Canadian George Newton shot 68 and made the cut. You really have to pay attention now. It's just at that wind speed that it makes a difference. Yeah, that was never going to go left. Yeah. We can see that change of color beautifully from this position here. That was left right off the blade. 
Pretty similar stroke to what we saw him make on the first hole, Peter. Ball starting a little left of where he's actually trying to get it going, so something to watch for. If it's firm enough, it'll hang in there. No, not quite. Still a good putt. There is at the moment uh, quite a battle uh, for a second place. Three are at five under. First, not out of the question, still a long ways to go. We've seen stranger things happen. Wind in out of the left slightly. Got it way up in the air again and on a good line and what a good strike if it's enough. Oh, oh I mean within a yard of being right next to the hole. Strike has to be really, really crisp. He did take it way up in the air. Slow down. Might get a little better. Yeah. Brian. Yeah, all told from that position, not bad at all. Got a couple sunny Hannahs under my belt as well, not, uh, not far from here. So Pennsylvania been good to me. My mom's from Western Pennsylvania and Sharon. Beautiful touch there from Harrington. And it appears as though the domination of the par fives yeah. will continue. A little left. Yeah. yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, Steve will heat up, and second place is right there. Yeah, it goes down a slight slope, and then it goes up another slope. He's got it online if he hits it firmly enough, but that's his tendency. See how quickly he's up and out of those yeah. putts? He, he, he makes a practice stroke, which is very long and very rhythmical. And then when he goes to actually hit the putt, it's shorter back and quicker through, and it tends to catch, he catches a lot of putts on the bottom of the face. Okay. Back to 11 under. 19, Steve Stricker, 221 yards today, 50 yards longer than it was yesterday. Get back there. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It's accessible. You can get at it. Stricker looking to make two in a row. Steve Stricker at nine with this shorty for birdie. To get into that tie. Oh. For second at five, <laughs> five hundreds, two in a row, four under on the par threes this week. Doesn't look nervous at all. See if he can make a rally here like he did yesterday. Like a good Get swing there. Is it over the hump? Yeah, it is. Beautiful shot. Yeah. Okay. The front is par 36. The back is par 35. Putt goes up the slope. Right to left. Good. Oh. Just stop Keep breaking turning. at the yeah. end. No, much shorter. You see how quickly the putter comes up? It, it's just a very inconsistent yeah. in uh, fact, strike of the ball with the putter face. In fact, if I were caddying from right now, I would say we don't need to take a practice stroke. We just need to get up and hit it because I think the pat practice stroke is throwing off his rhythm. He's trying to do something long and languid, and then mm, the, sh the real stroke is shorter. And it's all a fall to his right towards the back of the green and influences from that slope that was just short of the hole. Started on a good line. Oh, just an ounce more speed. Doesn't want to go toe to toe making bogeys. No, no, no. He was saying that uh, the, really for him to have a chance, he needed a two shot swing somewhere fairly early in the round. He's always been a great putter, but he's got a great feel this week. Yep. <laughs> kind of predictable. to be putt from down there, but uh, Steve Stricker, with his short game, I could see why he chipped. Yeah, 
Yeah, and nicely just, done. Just get it started. I mean, literally, just move the ball. <laughs> whisper to it. Mm -hmm. On an aggressive line, a little right of the hole location, and that's yeah, proper. Beauty. There you go. Second shot now, Gene Sowers. He's uh, fallen to four under, two over for the day. 117, downwind. Going a little left of the hole location. Maybe trying Ooh, to use that little backstop. Come on. Back. Here we go. Come on, Mark. Keep coming. Keep there coming. we go. Well fought out, well executed. Rob LeBritz bunkered. Yeah, pretty easy bunker shot right here. Just hit it about halfway there and let it release. Yeah, he make it. Very nice. Stricker on the tee at 11. Now you think of all the putts that we've seen Stricker miss. See now his stroke will mimic the practice stroke. Holds his finish. Unlike what we see from Sowers, you know, I, the practice stroke and the real stroke kind of match up. Not the case with Gene all the time. And over at Nine Ridge, this is Rob LeBritz for his par to stay in a tie for second at five under. And loving that. Yeah, that was a better stroke. Better stay down a little longer through the ball. More solid contact. Good bounce back. I should have an idea after watching Haas's putt. Just move it. Get it started far enough out to the right. Oh, oh, oh. beautifully hold. He's on his way to sort of a Dana Quigley kind of runs. And over at 13, Rich, this is Mark Hinsby with his second. Okay, beautiful shot there. Wait. Looks like he's trying to get it to spin, but that's going to go too long, I think. Nope, oh, came back. There yeah, you go. There you go. That's what I said. It, uh, from that distance, should be within 10, 12 feet of the hole, and that looks like where it is. Nice place to putt from. Up the hill, a little right to left break. At 15, remember we saw Jimenez's second shot go long into the heavy stuff. He pitched it. This was good as he could do coming down the slope. This for a par. Stay there. Oh, yes. Birdie putt now. Rob LeBritz at the 10th. That shouldn't be much in this one. Maybe a little left. Hit it. Hit it. You know, in terms of private country clubs this this is unrivaled there are obviously places certainly here in the east all right good par and now gene sowers this putt for bogey so drop sowers back now to four under solo sixth seven back he just Cannot miss left here with this club. Anything to the right could be all right. Wow, that was a hard swing. Cutting towards the center of the fairway. It's going to be left side. Oh, that's in that first of the two bunkers. So that's going to be tricky. Yeah, that will be. That's about a 40-yard bunker shot. Smooth that rake. Out. And now he has compounded a bad break into... Tough situation. Certainly one of the options was to play safe. Just put an iron out there uh, in the fairway at 10. He did not. And he's paying a little bit of a price. This a moment ago, Steve Stricker at the 12th. Oh, Hold we on go. a second. Yep. Stricker is now six under par as he. Which he did. Had to do that. He talked about options. It's amazing, isn't it, John? Sometimes the shortest holes are the ones that can create the biggest problems.
Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Got a couple feet, but not taking this for granted at all. Limits the damage. Fair bit of drama, more than he wanted at that tenth. Can they afford to be too aggressive, though? Yeah, that's low. And that was picking pull. up speed. Wow, that was that ball started well left of where he aimed. That's a good four feet. Okay. He has a little quicker routine than we've seen him. Oh, boy. I think he got out of routine there, Gary. Yeah, I would agree with you, John. And remember, we've seen about three putts now pulled. That ball definitely starting again a little left of his line. So all of a sudden, back to back bogeys to within three. And here he is. Stricker can knock that in. He is just like that within two, I believe. Needs to break. Oh! Oh! We have a ball game. Who do we ever? <laughs> Steve Stricker is trying to run down Padraig Harrington. And if he knocks this ball on the green and makes an easy birdie, this could uh, get him back right where he needs to be. Tell you what, it didn't sound very solid. It sounded chunky. Oh my goodness, it was. Wow. Oh boy. Okay. Nicely done. More than just a character. He yep. is a fine player. Yes, he is. As Gary pointed out, you can go just slightly right, but not much. Gotta be precise with this one. This needs to spin. It did. There we go. And a lot better than yesterday. Gene Sowers has put it up, missed his birdie oh, attempt. Patrick Harrington oh, down that slope slow. and missed it to the right and didn't take advantage of that huge drive, Gary. Okay, that's an opportunity missed. Oh, All right, very accessible hole location here at 16 today. Short par four, so. Put it in the fairway. Oh, man. Well, we've seen Strick do that this week. More so, I think, than I've ever seen him. It started a level left of his line right off the bat. He can do it. You can tell by his reaction. Golden opportunity. Needs a quality golf shot here. Something to the right of the hole location would be ideal. Good strike. Yeah, it's a good smart shot, John, just as you said. Center of the green. Yeah, nice and high. Yeah. Wants it to go. Oh, oh, oh goodness. This, should, this may come back a little bit. It should come back a little bit, Rich. There we go. He almost jarred that. Just gets it rolling. Now sliding down that hill and pretty well judged. Not that easy of a putt. Still has a <laughs> bring your coin, another as we one say. Of those. <laughs> as we say, bring your coin. <laughs> That's like another, he went in the well, left side. It's another pull. Ball is starting left of where he's trying to. That's uh, same putty hit at 11. This one was just short enough for it to go in. Got it way left. Uh, that's a two straight really good opportunity. Yes. Would have wasted by one of the game's better putter, Steve Stricker. Still two shots back. Yes, yeah, Steve. That is way right. Here we go, Steve. Trying to turn back. Gets off the slope. Oh, yeah. Spin. Oh, yeah. Come on. Is he going to go in? Gonna try. Wow. There we go.
30 feet and a pretty good right to left breaker. Have to get the speed right on this one. Oh, he did. Good putt. It'll be interesting what he does at 15 now. Yes, he has taken driver there at that short par four each and every day and tried to drive the ball up around the green. It paid off one day. And we go to 15. Here's LeBritz. This is for his par. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, the energy we've seen from Rob LeBritz this week. He's started down the middle, he's grabbing the tee. Yeah, yeah. A little draw, just yeah. what you would expect. Nice. Yep. He's in great shape. That'll leave another short iron in his hand. Cannot go left here. He's got a lot of room to the right from the whole location all the way to the right side of the green. Even in those right bunkers, that would be fine. <laughs> No. Nobody really scattering up there. Go. Get him. Get it to go. Will it take a big bounce up? Oh, yes, yeah. it will. Beautiful shot. He could somehow get the five under par. Might be a third place finish alone. You cannot take a chance right now. Well, he did yesterday, and it didn't pay off. And he, yeah, he flew it to the flag stick. It'll go 25, 30 feet by. That's all he could do. Yep, that is not a difficult putt. All right, Jimmy, how about this second shot for Stricker? One, 156, a little right to left wind. That hole's cut over on the back right side. Morgan uh, starting swing. out to the right, trying to draw back. Oh, oh. gets a good kick. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> the ball. That? Good. Whoa. Gosh. Yeah, who knew how he stood with that reaction? He knows what's going on. That is impressive. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Now at 16 green. This is a birdie putt for Rob LeBritz. This is huge. Moves him in the third by himself. Has it. First birdie of the day. Among the defining sounds of the 2022 U.S. Senior Open is the whoosh, whoosh of that club from Harrington. This is such a back. He's coming back, and this should be good. Now it turns this into a birdie opportunity. Yes, it does. Harrington regaining some momentum. One of the game's good guys with a great final round, six under 65. Yeah. Yeah. Here in the standing ovation, seventh birdie of the day against just one bogey. It's great with a driver because it doesn't matter if the driver, one driver goes 20 yards farther than the next driver. But with a wedge, you need the ball to go the right distance. You have to be able to control the speed. Yep, and hold to the right distance. This goes in pretty low. It's going to need to come back off that. Oh, it didn't. Well, it's 17. This was just a moment ago. Rob the Brits played a great Oh, ball. no. He played a great shot from the tee. It just went by the flag, and he's trying to play a big flop and he just bellied it that's really unfortunate you know, we're seeing balls take a big skip before they even think about stopping of course much more like it was early in the week how about this how about going oh my gosh would that have been a par for the Brits here at 17 
Well, no, he can't. Yeah, that's unbelievable. That is really good touch. He took he took that chance of yeah. leaving it on top. And he did. It worked out perfectly. Really well done. Yeah, that was. One shot lead for Potter Harrington, heading to the par 317. Out to the right. I don't think it's going to catch that slope. Oh, it's short as That's well. A tough, tough two putt from there. That's yeah. a real tough two putt from there, John. This club. Back downhill. It's going to be low. Third shot for the Brits. Got to land it down in this low area, chase it through and up to the hole. Needs to keep coming, keep coming. That's some shot, Gary. Well done. Yep. I think that was important for Padre to see that ball go in the hole. Yeah, a positive one. boost of confidence. So the 18th no gimme for Padraig Harrington. Moment ago, the Brits. Yeah. Okay. You know, what you love about senior golf is that a guy could have the greatest moment of his career after turning 50. Like the candle. Oh, that's headed right. Way up in the air and it's to the right, but I think it's left of the fairway bunker to the right. Oh, yeah, it's okay. All right. All right of where he played yesterday, but fine. A little bit lower ball flight. Needs to get up a little. Oh, he got the bounce. Landed it in the low area in the middle of the green, and it skipped forward. It's good now. Right where it's going, a little left of that. Oh, and it's on the wrong side of the little spine that runs through the back of the green, so that'll be a putt that goes up initially and then back down to the hole. Pick up some speed, go to the left. It's pretty well done, but uh, it's to bring it to point range right there, a couple, three feet. Break out of this big tie for the fourth. Easy putt, goes left, downhill, uphill. Nope. Didn't hit a lot of great putts today. No. Well, he just... Gutsy down the stretch. That was not easy, Gary. No, it was not. Uh, three consecutive holes. Uh, he was forced to really do some good work to manage to two putt to hang on to that lead, but he did it. Big Purdy putt at 15, par putt at 17, mm -hmm. and that short one here at 18. assess the performance for the week, Gary? Well, I thought uh, 
you know, the scoring was about what we expected. Um, I thought somebody would probably be in that eight, nine, ten under par range to end up winning. Of course, it looked like going into the day that Harrington could blow that away. I mean, the way he was performing uh, the second and third rounds, thought he might potentially have the chance to shoot 15 under par for the week. But uh, the golf course, uh, it held its own beautifully today.